Hello, I am back with uh, a new book review. Uh, this one, I actually read a, an actual kind of fun book as a fun book this time, because um, usually I'm reading classics or uh, historical stuff. And this is actually just a regular old fun book. I'd heard of the movie, haven't seen the movie, uh, and my son's um, cousins, uh, my nephews gave this to him because they had a whole bunch of books that they wanted to get rid of because they're too old for them and um, or they'd read them and you know so they they gave my son like almost the whole Diary of a Wimpy Kid series which he's going through and absolutely loves it uh, which is great like if you have a if you have a my son's eight if you have a kid around that age a little older um, the Diary, especially a son, the Diary of a Wimpy Kid books are fantastic. He absolutely loves them. But anyway, this other book um, I just decided to read because I was curious about it is uh, Ready Player One. Uh, I'd heard, like I said, I'd heard of the movie. I haven't seen the movie and I, I am curious to watch the movie now. Uh, my husband and I will probably watch it at some point. And uh, it's a good book. It's, it's, I really enjoyed it. You know, dystopian future kind of book. Um, and I do think that it kind of—it's a dystopian future, but also kind, of, but also, it, but in a fun way. Not like um, it doesn't dwell on the dystopian part of it. It, uh, it, you know, and there's obviously like the, you know, oh, we ruined the environment, blah blah blah, stuff in it, which comes up a couple of times. But for the most part, you know, it's not really a big it's not really a big thing in the book but everybody's in the oasis kind of like uh meta and you're like fully immersed in it and it's kind of where like everyone spends their time because real life kind of sucks um <clears throat> and so that's nice either so that's kind of like the basis of it and like the guy who invented the oasis put this video like this video game in it this contest to basically win his fortune after he dies and it's just the 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 story of you know a bunch of kids getting together and going on this quest in the oasis to win this this prize and and it's just, it's fun. And I do think, you know, kind of felt like it was a little bit written for like, like dudes my age or a little older, cause it's a lot of video game and a lot of uh, like tons of eighties references, to movies, TV shows, video games, obviously um, just random eighties trivia kind of stuff. And so, you know, that's kind of fun. You know, the video games obviously play, take a, play a huge part in it and uh but yeah you know it's just it's a fun read you kind of are trying to figure it out it's got these riddles and um you know so it's sort of like a like a dystopian sci-fi uh adventure you know uh quest kind of kind of Book. so it's it was fun and different and I enjoyed it I I really did like I wasn't really sure if I was gonna like it just because you know it's a lot of video games and stuff like that but uh, but I did I it was a fun read so you know two thumbs up I highly suggest it give it a try if you want to read something kind of fun and set in the future but referencing the past constantly so it doesn't so it's it's kind of cool um, yeah enjoyed it. Uh, it is by Ernest Klein is the author. I guess I should have said that. And uh, looking forward to seeing what the movie, if the movie's any good. I know a lot of people seem to like it. So, but anyway, that's that. Ready Player One. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, gave you something different to, you know, something new to try to read. And if you did, hit the like button, share it, subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow with a new video. Bye!